Cheltenham hadn't won at home, Portsmouth hadn't won away. A draw would keep both unwelcome runs going. The visitors scored inside five minutes. Ricky Holmes to Patrick Adjamang, and the striker showed his know-how as he grabbed his third goal of the season. Cheltenham's equaliser came from Jermaine McGlashan. With finishing like this, it's hard to believe he hadn't scored in 17 previous appearances. Pompey were back in front before the break. You'll hear Mark Yates criticise the Cheltenham defending later. So we'll concentrate for now on giving credit to Jed Wallace. It was his fabulous run. Johannes Ertl had the relatively easy task of tucking it away. It was the Austrian's first goal in his 44th match for the club. Cheltenham's second equaliser came in the 92nd minute. After it was half cleared, Steve Elliott helped it back in. Remember that stat about McLashan's long run without a goal? So this was his second since March. He made it look so easy, and he'd clearly been working on the celebration. There was time for a winner, and Cheltenham thought they had just that. Terry Gornell bundled it in, but he'll have to wait for his first league goal of the campaign after his effort was ruled out on the assistant's advice. There was frustration all round. Despite the entertainment, both Yates and Guy Whittingham were left to reflect on another one that got away. Uh, Mark, if you could just uh, talk me through how it was for you today. Well, we started OK and then conceded a, a really poor goal on our part. And that's been a story of our season so far this, this year. We're letting in goals out of nothing. But teams aren't having to work hard to get them goals. We were looked a bit jittery for first after that for, for 15 minutes. But then I finished. I thought we finished the half the better side. We scored a good goal. We created a couple of opportunities. And then to concede from the position that we conceded in at the end of the first half was was poor. Um, that probably sums us up at the moment. Well, we haven't won it because we didn't keep the ball well in the second half. That's probably why we haven't we haven't won it. Um, and we didn't get that two goal cushion which we should have done. Do you put the goals conceded down to individual errors again? Or? No, not at all. No, it's um, you know when you have so much pressure, uh, and you know I think we were dealing with it quite well. But there's this as in Mansfield, when there is that a lot of pressure, then um, you know something only takes a small mistake. So uh, unfortunately, that happened again today.